Okay, so we're here at Michigan Tech and we stumbled upon this cutaway of a Cummins turbo diesel engine. Uh, so we figured we'd go ahead and show you the four cycle engine and how it works. Uh, this would be the crankshaft right here that spins. This is a connecting rod. This is the piston. This here would be the camshaft, which on this particular engine is all mechanical and it controls the injectors as well as the valves. This is your uh, lifter rods right here. <coughs> And this would be the rockers here that actually open the valves and control the injector. So the first stroke on here would be the intake stroke. This intake valve opens up and the piston goes down and it draws in a cold charge of air. That valve closes and the second stroke is the compression stroke where the piston comes back up and then the injector fires and puts fuel into the combustion chamber. And diesel fuel does not need to be ignited, so it's just ignited by compression. So it, ign it ignites as soon as it gets into the combustion chamber and this rapid expansion of gases pushes the piston back down which makes the power stroke, that's what we're on now, piston coming back down and then the exhaust valve opens when the piston gets down and when it comes back up it pushes all these hot exhaust gases out. So since this is a turbo diesel engine, this is our turbocharger over here. Those hot exhaust gases that come from the exhaust stroke come here and turn the uh, exhaust side turbine on the turbo which also turns the compressor side turbine. What this does is it pulls in cold air and compresses it and pushes it into the engine. The advantage of the turbo comes from uh, compared to a naturally aspirated engine is that a naturally aspirated engine has to pull all the air into it on the intake stroke. So energy is being used there. Well with this it, takes advantage of that energy that's being wasted anyway from the exhaust and uses that to put the air in so power can go more towards the crankshaft rather than to pulling air into the engine. Another advantage is that this compresses the air and pushes it in and puts more air into the combustion chamber and more air has more oxygen. If we have more oxygen in the combustion chamber we can put more fuel in and get a bigger bang out of the same engine. Another interesting thing about this particular engine is that it is a sleeved engine, which means that when you go to rebuild it, this whole sleeve comes out and is replaced, rather than reusing a worn used cylinder or boring to a larger size diameter. This has been a basic explanation of how a four-cycle turbo diesel engine works.